going to be damage testing here at the Templar like we normally do. It's just one damage phase to just kind of give us a brief snapshot of DPS. Although this often changes depending on whatever it is you're damaging. Again, this was the Hive Worm weapon. And it explodes on impact. Uh, but the size and damage of the explosion scales with the number of enemies you've defeated just before firing this weapon. Uh, also, the Worm Byproduct trait. Taking damage from your own Worm Projectile detonation that powers your weapon for a short time. So... I'm going to play this by ear. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to utilize the trait well, but I feel like we can easily utilize Worm's Hunger. But right now, we're just going to start with base damage for Parasite. All right, going in for the slide. Pop man well. Do the thing. That was a tight window chat. I don't think I'll ever get it any better than that. Okay, I I, I know, I know now. Let's work in there. I right, 463. Pretty good. Alright, I've got 12. Sliding in now. Give me now. Oh, almost! All right, so that was that was times 12. I need to find I gotta get 20 ads somehow Okay, all right, we in, it's get it's going up 574 566. Okay, let's see what we can get out of the full 20 All right, cleans down. Give me that well Everybody back up All right, 648,000, 634. Looks clean. But what happens when we actually take advantage of the trait and we shoot the ground at our feet and we take damage from your own worm projectile detonation and powers your weapons for a short time? The worm byproduct is to empower your other weapons simply to um, get the times 20 back faster. Now, how much, how much does it actually increase? So let me, let me try something. One, 1,229. 1,413. Okay. Okay, so that's a 15% increase in damage for your other weapons. So for those 9 to 10 seconds, if you, act, if you happen to hit yourself just slightly with your own worm, this will empower your other weapons by 15%. It's kind of nice. Like, I'm all right with it. Like, not everything has to just be just for damage face. Yeah, it's a nice loot. All right, I'm gonna get times 20 and we're gonna try doing six, six worms. All right, I, I didn't get it in time. Yeah, it's just not enough time. All right, so five is the most we can do, fellas. Regardless, this is your, this is your damage number. All right, 648,634. All right. Looks pretty good. How does it compare to Galley? Papa Galley! Okay, 680,000. About neck and neck. Parasite is having to... You have to jump through more hoops. But, uh, but Galley and Galley is also easier to use. Now, before we just jump up and say Galley is the play, you know, I think Parasite also has some, some great benefits because, yes, Galley is good and it helps your teammates that are using rocket launchers. But Parasite's really good by passively buffing your other weapons a 15 percent buff to your other weapons is nothing to sneeze at so i'm seeing pros to both of these i think parasite is 100 a play in things like grandmaster nightfalls where you get the times 20 or times 10 or times 15 just to take out a champion right you have that ginormous three time multiplier damage buff on that one worm shot 
which is probably enough to take out a champion by itself. And then you immediately swap to your other weapon, clean up whatever's in front of you with your primary weapon or your special weapons, what are getting kills with your super. All of that taking place is feeding back into this exotic perk and giving you that times 20. So the damage comparison, yes, Gallahorn is still better in, in, to in that total damage or at least in that damage comparison window right here. Total damage, I think Parasite with times 20 could actually outmatch that of Galley, if not be one-to-one. -one. But the, the overwhelming advantage is in Parasite's favor for running gun from champion to champion, you know, where you, where you actually have time to get kills in between actually doing a full-out damage phase. I, I think Parasite's about to become the option I use in Grandmaster Nightfalls. As you run into a Nightfall, just imagine Grandmaster Nightfalls, where you've got ads and everything spread out everywhere. You're constantly getting kills with other means. Every time you pull out Parasite, it's going to have something. It's going to have times 10, times times 12, times 20. And that ginormous buff there in damage is going to probably be enough to take out a champion instantly, even in GMs. Imagine in Grandmaster Nightfalls. Most Grandmaster Nightfalls, it takes three Gallonhorn shots. And what we're seeing from this Parasite at times 20 is almost the equivalent of three Gallonhorn shots. There's going to be times, I think, at times 15 and plus with Parasite, that you'll be able to insta-kill a champion. Let's get a damage comparison. I'm going to get a damage comparison real quick for Sleeper. Come back. Do it now. All right. Seven shots. It's the most I can squeeze out, chat. Okay. Six or nine. Four or twenty. The difference there is we still had chat we had a a good bit of ammo left too so all right time for whisper Had a ton of ammo left. <laughs> yeah, the total damage door whisper is nuts, actually. And it got buffed so that when you uh, when you park the the thing, it just it's ammo from thin air, right? Yep, that's right. That's um, awesome. yeah, two from thin air. And and by the way, the damage face whisper is by far the king of total damage. There is no other heavy weapon in the game that does as much double, uh, as much total damage as whisper. That is so much. Just to do a brief recap, all these weapons, Whisper, Gallahorn, Sleeper, and Parasite are all kind of neck and neck. Um, and I would say, though, for running gun situations, um, for the if it's a very short damage phase, like dealing with a champion, Parasite at that times 20 with that exotic trait is just so good. So good. I think Parasite is going to become one of my go-to options for, for Grandmaster Nightfalls. And as far as everything else, as far as the raid coming up, the way I'm kind of looking at it is like, if the if the crit is way too hard to hit, then I'm going with Gallahorn. If it's kind of hard to hit and there's not many things I'm killing in between the damage phase, I might go Sleeper. If the crit is not hard to hit at all, and it's a very long damage phase window, Whisper of the Worm. I'm about, about to break out Whisper of the Worm in a raid in 2022 um as far as some questions someone's gonna ask what about the uh what's the new weapon the new machine gun that just dropped grand overture i am i am still finishing up the catalyst for this one whenever i get the catalyst done for this we'll do it we'll do a damage damage testing for it as well slap that like button like your mama told you right <laughs>